there's just been a massive leak on the Killer Clowns the video game subreddit and today I wanted to share it with you. So in this screenshot we can see some new skins for Jumbo. Unfortunately they seem to be exclusive items. As you can see Twitter user Glush says new suit was added for Jumbo. Left is titled GameStop and the right is titled Amazon. I think they did a really good job on these and it's very unfortunate that we'll never really get to use them. I think eventually, or even with the update that includes these, there will be a different colored variant that exists in the game, but these look really cool, and it's a shame that seemingly only console players get to use them, unless maybe they release a physical PC edition which, to my knowledge, hasn't been announced. Scrolling down you can see that there's a new box mask cosmetic, Funny Box Hat was added for humans with recolors. Looks like he has different facial expressions he can have, looking angry, happy, and just... he's seen some shit. Now continuing with Jumbo's cosmetics, there are more tints for Jumbo's new spacesuit, 10 of them. Here are a few of them. These tints don't have any labels on them, so they'll probably be unlockable for everyone at some point in the future. And as you can see, these are definitely not the same as the Amazon and GameStop exclusive skins. From what I saw in the comments, I believe this is based off concept art, I assume for the video game, not the movie. And it doesn't necessarily look bad, though compared to the exclusive skins, <laughs> they're not as cool. Now we can see Halloween outfits come into the game, and they're definitely interesting. The guy up front, I believe, is kind of biker Frankenstein-y. The guy with the mohawk is maybe a wannabe vampire, judging by his ears. Devil Horns is just demon biker. Very lame that they're not, like, interesting Halloween costumes. But then we have a man in a skeleton outfit, and a girl in a fishman outfit. I do like the fish in the skeleton clothes, though I do think that the generic biker mixed with Halloween costume parts looks kinda lame. Then scrolling down, we can see that they're adding the two clowns Daisy and Rosebud. From that scene where the Terenzi brothers fall into the ball pit, and they meet Debbie's roommates. I think they did an amazing job on these. They look great. Though I will say I'm not particularly excited for them, nor am I excited for any of the other characters we're about to see, because judging by Fatso being a DLC paid character, and Slim having been locked behind a pre-order bonus, I do not believe that any updates like this will ever be free. And it is a shame in my opinion, because out of all of the content to add for free to the base game, it should be movie content. I feel like it's more excusable to make those really unique and interesting spacesuits as paid DLC, or do what they did with the Infernal DLC and make those clowns paid for, but stuff like Daisy, Rosebud, the other clowns we're about to see, Fatso, Slim, those are characters that should exist in the base game, because they're actual movie characters, along with Mike and Debbie. But continuing on, we can see more renders of Daisy and Rosebud. These are specifically labeled as the store thumbnails, so they're definitely paid DLC. The next tweet includes descriptions, this one for Rosebud. The charismatic Rosebud joins the fray. Rosebud is out for revenge, so look out Crescent Cove residents. Rosebud is a special character skin for the hunter clown type, and is only cosmetic. Just add them in as new characters, but continuing with Daisy's description. The fiery Daisy is back igniting both passion and panic among Crescent Co. residents. Daisy is a special character skin for the Ranger clown type, and is only cosmetic. Now continuing with new clowns, here we can see Frank, who's possibly an old man clown. <laughs> He's definitely one of the interesting clowns in the movie. And Glush also tweets, Audio has also been added for three unreleased clowntalities, Abduction, Ventriloquist, and Ball Pit Jacuzzi. I'll render those soon. Here are some closer looks at the clowns. We have Frank, Magori, who's used on the movie poster. He's literally the exact same as Rudy, but with just shorter hair. And seeing a screenshot of him in the movie, they look the exact same. Even the hair. Yeah, on the movie cover it does look a bit shorter, he looks more menacing, but when you're watching the movie and you see the brief glimpse of Magori, you really can't tell the difference. Magori swings a bat, I believe, and he looks noticeably angry and bloodthirsty. However, it still looks like Rudy. I expect all this stuff is going to be paid DLC. However, something like Magori, I think 100% should be a free cosmetic. Then here, a closer look at Daisy and Rosebud. Very terrifying. Literally just Jumbo and Rudy, but with girl clothes on. And actually, I would have expected these hairstyles to be in the game, considering you can make your clown female. But no, I'm not sure if they'll add these as an option, but probably not. I imagine they'd be exclusive to these characters. 
I do think Frank is really cool. I don't think I'd mind playing as him, but if he replaces my man Rudy, I'm gonna have to pick Rudy every time. And then we also have screenshots of a new upcoming map. Which I gotta say, it does look like it could be fun, but I really wish we were getting a spaceship. The spaceship, for those of you unaware, was teased in the early trailers, and then I believe even the latest trailers for the game. You literally see people and clowns running around a spaceship environment. So it's pretty scummy that they use that as a selling point, a very key location from the movie that would be a lot of fun to play in, but they just haven't bothered making. This mall, I do think, will be fun, but at the top of my Killer Clowns wishlist is that spaceship. And that's really the only map that I really want. And again, that's not to crap on this, I do think, for the third time, it will be fun. But man, that ship. But anyway, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Personally, I'm not really excited for this update because I know to get all these characters, it'll likely cost somewhere around 30 bucks. But fingers crossed I'm wrong and they're a free update. Wouldn't hold my breath though. And I've seen some people who would defend this by saying they need to make money. Well, currently, and I do love the game, I'm not just hating on it to hate on it. Currently, with the state of the game, with the content that's in it, they are overcharging for this game. I think that they really should do what Texas Chainsaw just did, one of their other games, and drop the price. Somewhere around 20 bucks. Things such as movie characters should be free updates to the base game. Would I play as these characters? Sure. Would I play as Fatso and Slim? Yeah. Would I play as Mike, Debbie, and Bibbo? Yes, I would. But I'm not interested in paying more money for this game. Some people are, some people are fine with it, but personally, I'm not. But anyway, that has been all of the recent leaks. Ilphonic, Gun Media, whoever it is, if you're watching this video and you want it removed for whatever reason, because I get it, it is leaked content, you might want to keep some stuff as a surprise, feel free to let me know. But for now, that has been everything with the Killer Clowns leaks, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Looking for more horror fun? You're goddamn right. Then check out the VHS comic book series, a parody of the horror genre that follows the lives of three teens as they fight to survive a horror movie where every day is loaded with blood, boobs, and buds. The first two issues can be found in the description below. I was obsessed with VHS.